Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to show you how we knife edge a crankshaft. So as promised guys, this is the Healy 3000 engine that we got delivered in this box by a customer up country and um, you can see we've stripped it now just to sort of check, see what's going on. This is just a straightforward overhaul of the engine. Um, on first inspection, the bores don't look bad at all, really. First inspection, the crankshaft looks like a bit of a plow field. We haven't yet measured it, but um, we're gonna measure that and it's gonna need grinding anyway. And then obviously a full balance of the crank assembly as normal. The camshaft looks really good. Um, but we're going to just run through all this, measure it all up and, and see exactly what it needs. And um, we shall let you know on that. So guys, here we've got Carlos's Renault 5 Turbo crankshaft. So this is for the engine that he's building in Portugal um, for the car that he's restoring over there. He's well into these Renault 5s, as I said to you before. Um, so basically this engine is going to be totally lightened um, and full race so he's got a three and a half kilo flywheel that's been machined with the nine slots on the outside um, fairly trick bit of kit and this crankshaft here we're going to knife edge and obviously take some weight off by doing that um, so as you can see I've done one web here and I just thought I would show you sort of how it's done. It's a fairly simple process, really. Uh, what we do is, on a, obviously, on our, our old lathe here, we do it sort of manually. So, first of all, what you want to do is decide what angle you're going to cut at. And we do this by setting this bed here. We've gone for a 25 degree angle. So we set that at 25 degrees and we keep that there as it is. You then turn this and set the tool so it's straight. And I tend to cut backwards, um, just so you can see off the edge of the tip where, where whereabouts and how much you're cutting off. So I've done this one here just so I can sort of show you the setup. So what we do is we, we don't take it off the face where the big end is, we leave that flat and we take it off the back edge where the main is. So. First of all, it doesn't matter way, it doesn't matter which way you set it up to start with. We do this web over here with the crank this way round, and also we do the web on the end the same. Then what we do is rather than alter all this, we turn the crankshaft over and then we do this face and this face. Um, so what we do we decide sort of how much meat basically because we're cutting backwards we sort of decide how much thickness we want to leave here and obviously where it's going to go up to and that will determine depending which crank it is that will determine the angle that you set this at so we figured that 25 degrees on these Renault 5s sort of gives you about two and a half three mil on the front and goes right up to as far as we would like to go really also by doing that and doing that amount you see it's just started to cut on this edge here so that's perfect we don't want to really remove anything off there because this here is purely your weight and your strength is is in this part here so we don't really want to remove anything off there at all really so as long as it's just sort of give it a, a little lick over that's that's enough really so we'll, we'll bring it over here so we've done that one so we'll we bring the, the tool over here and what we do is we wind this in, turn it over, pull it over on the on the big bed until it's gonna be sort of cutting on about two mil of the front of that cutter. Just turn it over manually make sure it's not going to foul anything else always good practice to do that and then we start it up and start our back cutting so as you can see 
put its first cut on. What we're going to do now is we're going to move, we're going to wind this cross slide forward and then we're going to move the tool over so we're going to get a nice sort of two mil cut on there again. Wind that forward. So it's just like to cut about two mil on the tip and then we start winding it back. Obviously, first of all, we, um, we set this crank up and DTI it just so it's running true. Obviously, it's going to have to be balanced after anyway, but if you clock it, then you know you're, you're running as true as you can, really. You don't want to sort of put it in there and go about doing it if the crank's all over the place because you're going to be taking more off one side than the other. In a way. So as you can see we've done this one now and the middle one and you can see on both it's just started to touch on that back web and the same there. So what we're going to do is turn the crank over now, clock it again and then do this one and that one. So we've turned it around, clocked it in and you can see now it puts the that web and that web in the same position as the other two were when it was turned round. So we're just going to do this one, do this one, and then it's all done. See the difference there in the two centre webs. Not only is this crank going to be a bit lighter, that's going to cut through the oil a lot better. I've done quite a few of these in the past. It used to be a thing on the Z-Tex, done a few of them, and also the Mitsubishi Evos. So if any of you guys want this done on your crank. hours labour to do this, about £100. Not disastrous. So what we do is we sort of move up about 2 mil from where we cut last time and go over just touch the tip on the crank and then when we wind back we know we're taking about a 2 mil cut so we finish that end one just doing the last one in the centre now you can see the difference there between them two Interesting actually, we've got a standard Renault 5 crank over there, so we're gonna weigh that in a minute compared to this one and see how much, how much weight it's actually took off. Interesting. So there we go guys. Crankshaft complete, fully knife edged. Now we have stuck this on the scales compared to the original crank that we've got, and this is about a kilo and a half lighter. Um, so that bit of weight saving is going to um, going to help things. It's not a massive amount of weight, but it just helps cut through the oil. Um, as you can see here, we've got the flywheel which has been lightened on the back face, and also it's they call it nine slotted, but it's been slotted on the outside to remove quite a lot of weight. This flywheel is now down to about three and a half kilos, as opposed to eight and a half, I believe it is. Um, so. This is all laid out now, ready to balance. In one of the next videos this week, we're gonna show you, or get Carlos to show you how we balance this, and we'll see how far this flywheel and crankshaft is out now we've removed that weight. Be interesting to see that. Once again, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Please smash that subscribe button. 
comment down below and we'll see you in another video tomorrow. Take care guys.